Hey, what's up everybody? This is Keith with Little Light Studios and we are here for another live broadcast. Today we're going to be talking about gorillas. Make sure you share this, make sure you like this so that other people can jump on here because it just helps us in the algorithm. And we're going to go through this information rather quickly. You cannot even believe how many technical difficulties we've had with this one. But here we go. So gorillas is a virtual band. So it has uh, cartoons for members, okay? There are four members of the band you can see on the screen. You have 2D, you have Noodle, you have Hobbs, and you have Murdoch, okay? Those are the members of the band. Now, recently they came out with a video called Cracker Island, and this video was done in collaboration with Thundercat, who's a famous bass uh, guitarist. He plays a, a six string bass. So he identifies as Christian. And I think that's kind of odd based on the content in this video. So uh, what is this about? Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask the um, musician whose name is David Alburn, he says this. I think Cracker Island is a sort of idea that people have some kind of mad ideas uh, that can all live together happily in their own kind of echo chamber, which is Cracker Island. So he says it's about echo chambers. And while I can agree with that, I would say that symbolism in the video doesn't invite people to something better like he might be talking about. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Here the video opens in Hollywood. It's done on, in LA. You can see the Hollywood sign in the background. And this is the opening scene where you have 2D being wheeled into a hospital by the police. And it starts out this way. On Cracker Island, it was born to the collective of the dawn. They were planting seeds at night to grow a made-up paradise. So these are the lyrics that it starts out with. This is a bit cryptic, but we know a couple things. They're starting something. It's at night. It's a made-up paradise. So what is it? We'll get to that in just a second. So here you have um, 2D. He's sitting in the hospital, and he's being interrogated by the police. And he's wearing this shirt. It says... I am the lamb. Or if you look at the highlighted letters, it says, I am the am. Really, that's kind of a variation if you think about what God said to Moses in the wilderness, I am that I am. That's whom he was supposed to tell um, the children of Israel who sent him to them. So really kind of interesting. And here you see he's getting on, he's going to get a phone call, or at least he's making a phone call, you know, he's like he's allowed to do from the police. And you see some strange things. And so when they're singing the chorus of the song, which has the word occult in it, you'll see this. Um, they, they taught themselves to be a cult. They didn't know its many strategies. And then you see this on the screen, a very um, dark imagery with some strange occult symbolism is overlaid on his face. And this happens many times throughout the video. It's almost subliminal. It's a little bit faster than that, but it's done multiple times throughout the video, just kind of flashing in place of characters' faces. Shortly after that, you see a corpse at the hospital. And then after the corpse is, you know, laying there, you know that it's been dead. You see this. It stands up very stiff and straight. And it starts going down the hallway, um, looking like what people would call a ghost, right? And again, they keep flashing this image throughout um, the whole video. This is in full screen at one point in the video during the chorus, again, when they're talking about a cult. And then you see Murdoch, he's dressed up like he's been performing in a cult ritual. He, he arrives at the hospital later, so you can only infer from the video that he has been involved in the occult ceremony, and it looks like he's been leading out. You can see how his hands are formed, uh, very uh, occult-like. And then you see Murdoch receiving this ghost, if you will, with open arms. She appears a little bit almost like a bride, but then you see she turns old, and it's there's this implication from the video that they kiss, although it doesn't show that part. Um, then the video ends and you see the reason for the disturbance. It reads, major incident below the Hollywood sign, police intervene to stop a cult ceremony. Okay, cult ceremony. Well, in another video from the... And... Um, so this is what's in the storyline. It says, on the eve of the pink dawn, 2D, Noodle, uh, Russell, Murdoch, they gathered at the house in the hills above Silver Lake. It had lots of secret rooms, some strange neighbors. And it's telling this story, and it's showing the book that they're telling the story from that Murdoch is reading. And you can see his character bobbing up and down on the book, and you'll notice he's in a lotus position. He's meditating. He even says that in some of the documentation that he's being enlightened during this time while he's meditating with his legs crossed. 
And so you see that and it, he's, it's subtitled, you know, preparing for your aura. So what kind of occult ceremony is this? What kind of religious propaganda are they pushing? You can tell by the symbolism that's in the video. Then it says, in a studio in the basement, work began on their new record. You know, it says that Murdoch was distracted. He becomes um, the leader of this new cult and that this was a prophecy. So they're working on this album and uh, there's a prophecy that Murdoch is going to be this leader of a new cult. Now, you need to understand some things about Murdoch. Um, Murdoch is the leader of the band, and you can see from the official uh, fandom wiki for Gorillaz that Murdoch's, his religion is Satanism, okay? You can also see that he is a self-proclaimed god. Now, if you're a Satanist, how does that work? I don't know, but maybe it works because people like Anton LaVey would say the same thing. Uh, at its heart, Satanism is really all about self, so everyone who is really a Satanist is really a self-proclaimed god, if you will. Now, more about Murdoch, you can see on Wikipedia, if we zoom in, there's a couple of things. It says he was born on 6666, which is interesting. You can tell uh, that they're messing with some symbolism there. And that Murdoch also made a deal with the devil. Now, before I go on, don't forget to like this video, share it. Other people can jump on this broadcast. And I think we're at a couple hundred viewers right now. So thanks guys for joining us. Um, so this is Murdoch. It's, it's very occult-like, very satanic. He's the leader of this new cult. He's the leader of the band, and he is a self-proclaimed Satanist. So they're working on this album in the basement, and uh, there's this prophecy they have to start a cult, and it makes you wonder, then where is this prophecy coming from? This is a prophecy essentially from Satan. And of course, the purpose of this cult is to make a better world. That's what they say, but it's very open-ended. What does a better world look like? What does a better world look like from a satanic point of view? You know, that's the question we have to ask. And they're saying, you know, this is what we're going to build. And there is this call to action that comes out of that. In fact, on this website, it says gorillas are asking fans to join a cult on a mysterious new website. I'm going to show you that website. Here's what it looks like. It's called thelastcult.org. You put your email address in and you sign up. And... This is the same imagery that we find in the video. So very cryptic, not a lot of details. They're just saying, hey, we're going to make a better world. We're Satanists and we perform occult ceremonies. Uh, you get to a letter from Murdoch when uh, you sign up with this. At least this is what is as far as I can tell. I didn't sign up to find out. Um, but it goes on and talks about what's in this letter where he says he's meditating. He's alluding to the lotus position and he's being enlightened. So you can only imagine what kind of enlightenment he wants to give you. It's very Eastern. And so in this letter, it goes on and it says, uh, I am the chosen one. He's using very religious, but Christian religious terminology to speak to people. And so that's uh, in this letter. And then on the, another page, it says, um, I trust you've already got Cracker Island on infinite repeat. Good, good. Soon its hypnotic melodies will replace all those other mundane thoughts in your noggin. So he's hoping that you'll play the song over and over again. And its hypnotic uh, melodies are going to replace the thoughts that are already in your head. And that's very dangerous because our minds need to be filled with Christ. They need to be filled with the, the scriptures, not some mundane song that's in about an occult ceremony. So what does Murdoch say about the video? He has a couple of things to say, even though he's a fictional character. He says, it's nice to be back uh, and all well into our new tune. It brings back weird and scary memories of stuff that hasn't happened yet. So they're saying, you know, this stuff is prophetic. There's things in here that are going to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, what does that look like? I don't know entirely, but I think it's interesting that as part of this, you saw a part of the occult ceremony is they were raising people from the dead. Uh, he also said uh, this line at the bottom, I thought this was interesting. He says, because I work in mysterious ways. Now you might think that was listed from scripture, but in reality, the phrase, the Lord works in mysterious ways is actually not in the Bible. Okay, a lot of people think it is, but it's not. Um, it came from a popular preacher from, I think, the 1800s. And uh, you can tell, though, they're not shy about communicating with audiences using Christian lingo or even imagery and blending the two, Christian talk, Christian imagery, and cult talk. 
and occult lingo, mixing them together. But here's the point I want to drive at with all of this. It comes from 1 John chapter 1. You know, it doesn't matter how this interpreted. It's very dark occult imagery. And the Bible really invites us to something better. Not the cryptic, occultic, satanic thing that Murdoch or gorillas is inviting you to. The Bible is inviting you to something much better, a much brighter, safer life. Listen to what it says in 1 John. This is verse 5. It says, this is the message which we have heard from him, talking about Jesus Christ, and declare to you, that's all of you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. God does not have darkness. He does not blend darkness in. God is all light. God is an all-consuming fire. And so we have to separate these two things and say, you know, if it's darkness, it doesn't belong in the kingdom of light. It doesn't belong in Christianity. It doesn't belong as part of our Christian experience. It goes on in verse 6 and it says, if we say we have fellowship with him, speaking of Jesus, and walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. So if Murdoch or any other you know, person real or imagined is saying, you know what, I walk in darkness uh, and they have fellowship with Christ or fellowship with Christians or Christianity. That's not the truth. They're not practicing the truth. And so we have to make sure that we are not combining those two things as well. Verse seven ends it. It says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, which is what we're admonished to do, to walk in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Do you want to be cleansed from your sins? Then you have to walk with Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Amos chapter 3, verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? If you want to be agreed with Christ, then you have to walk in the light with Christ. So it's best that we stay away from these dark things, these occultic things, these things that are trying to blend light and darkness. And that's my admonishment to you. Stay away from those things that are dark, no matter what they're trying to say about making the world better. This has been another live broadcast. Don't forget to like this, subscribe, share it, and we will catch you guys next time.